Hi gang, so today we have two Pilates based exercises that are great for improvement of hip and torso range of motion in dancers, as well as developing the core strength. So let's start with our first exercise. I'm going to face you mostly from the front to start, and then I'll show you from the side version. We're going to begin with our feet a little bit wider than hip width apart, sitting up tall on your sits bones, so not on the cushy part. So you should be restacked with that spine. Okay, we're going to reach the arms up to start from the center, almost like we're in third position. Drop the shoulders down. Take a deep breath in because the basis of Pilates is breathing. Deep breath in. Exhale as you start to peel down one vertebra at a time, all the way down at the bottom. Big breath in, and then exhale. Tuck the chin, peel up one vertebra at a time. As you reach the top, you're gonna to rotate opposite hand to pinky toe. Look at your back arm, and gently reach towards or past your toes. Come back up to center. Sit tall, inhale, start your peel down. Exhale, control that peel down nice and slow. Big inhale at the bottom, and exhale to lift yourself up. Sit so tall, rotate, opposite hand to the other toe. This time, look behind you, and then inhale, sit back up. We're going to repeat these, okay? You can do it on your own for eight repetitions, alternating each side. Remember the breathing is the most important part to get out of this exercise. So each time you're doing this, when you're doing your beginning part to your roll up or roll down, take a deep breath in. And then you exhale during that peeling down or peeling up process. So here at the bottom, again, another big inhale and an exhale to lift up. So it's deep into the core and then inhale, exhale, rotate and reach. Good. And again, you're going to do eight of those alternating sides. Okay. Let me show you to you just one time from the side position so you can really see what happens to my spine. We're sitting up tall on our sits bones, big inhale. Through the belly, exhale as you peel down one vertebra at a time. Try and keep those arms more overhead. Big inhale at the bottom. Exhale. Lift up tall, sit up, and then rotate, inhale, and exhale as you reach. And then you come back to the center and you start that peel down process again. Okay? That's exercise one. The next exercise, we're going to take this down. I'm going to show you mostly from a back view for me. You're going to lie to your back, raise both feet up so they're directly over your hips. Turn those legs out from the hip joint, and you can place your hands right on your pelvic bone. From here, we're going to lower this foot down along the side of your leg in a turnout position. Inhale, reach the leg out towards second. Exhale, flex the toes and squeeze from your thighs in the abs to pull the leg up. Inhale, lower down, reach it out. Exhale. Your goal is to keep everything as nice and tight during that center position of the spine, not allowing your hips to tip to the side or to move at all, okay? And that's where that breathing is important. Exhale as you pull in. So you're gonna do 10 of these on each side. Once you reach 10, you would then switch to the other leg. Inhale as you lower down. Take it out. Exhale. Pull it up to the inner thighs and the abs. Inhale, lower down. Take it out to the side, exhale, pull it up. Okay, those two exercises, again, are a great way to anchor your abdominal muscles, teach them how to create stability in the rib cage and the hips, as well as help to work on that hip range of motion for turnout and for just general range of motion and to help with the dancer keep her flexibility. All right, try them out, let me know if you have any questions and have fun.